In a sea of sameness, having a picture, even a thumbnail in a gallery, that is remarkably different than other pictures can make the difference between a buyer clicking into your listing and passing over it. In this demo, we're going to look at a simple way that anyone can use to make their picture stand out. We're going to begin by downloading a picture from Flickr. It's by Porcelain Girl, and you can find her photo stream here on Flickr. So let's download the picture and open it up in Photoshop Elements. Now I'm using Elements 5, but this uh, simple technique will work in any version of Elements. There are plugins for Photoshop that will make this much easier, but we're just going to do it the simple, inexpensive way. So the first thing we want to do is go over to our Lasso tool and change it to the Magnetic Lasso tool. And what we want to do is just select these shoes. So I'm going to begin by clicking and dropping points along the border We're using the magnetic lasso tool to make it easier to follow the outline of the shoe. When you're near the end, just double click to finish the shoe. Now we want to add the second shoe as well. So we change this from new selection to the second box, which is Add to Selection. That way, the first will remain selected while we go along and take the second shoe as well. If you get off track, just hit your back button. And once again, as we near the end, I just double click to complete it. As you can see, I didn't do a really good job of selecting here on this one. So let's go back to our lasso tool and change to the regular lasso. And you can just make a really rough circle here at the bottom to fill in the entire thing. Just make sure you have Add to Selection selected. I'm going to go back to the lasso tool one more time and try selecting a little better along here. and then just add that to fill in. That's good enough for what we want to achieve in this demonstration. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the keyboard combination Control J to create a new layer just from the selection. As you can see over in the Layers palette, what we have selected is just the shoes. Now that we've selected them, if there are areas where you've gone outside the lines, you can take your eraser tool and maybe clean it up a tiny bit. I wouldn't get overly fussy about this, but you can clean it up a bit if you'd like. Sometimes it helps to enlarge the photo to see exactly what may or may not have gone wrong. Now that we have the shoes on their own layer, we want to come back here to the bottom layer, go up to Enhance, Adjust Color, Remove Color. Because the shoes themselves are on the top layer, the bottom layer has become black and white which makes these shoes stand out even more. If you want to give that just a little more oomph, select it, add a hue saturation adjustment layer, and try popping up the saturation just a few points. You don't want to go wild, but just give it maybe f five or seven increased points to make it really stand out against the gray background. And that's a simple trick you can use to give your pictures a little more eye appeal and make them stand out from every other picture. Now, the fact that this photo is taken at an unusual angle doesn't hurt at all in making this an eye-catching picture. But when you get into your listing itself, make sure that you give viewers a good view of all angles of what you're selling. This is Danny Byrne for the Web Seller Circle. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll talk again soon.